Today, Texas was under attack. Today, America suffered. Today, the community suffered as 14 students and one teacher were killed in a deadly shooting that took place at Robb Elementary School in Texas. Regardless of how many were involved, I pray for the victims and their friends and families from today's shooting that happened in Texas. To all the people in Texas, just know God cares about you. God loves you. And I send my thoughts and prayers to the people of Texas. Tonight, I stand with the people of Texas, the community, and with the friends and family of all the victims and everyone involved. Make no mistake, we're gonna find this suspect and we will bring him into custody. We will make him pay. I am very devastated by this attack. I am, and make no mistake, please know that regardless of what happens in this country, around the world, and in, in the community, we've gotta stand united as one against tragic violence. And right now, my heart is shaking. These sad times right now has filled my heart with grief, sorrow, sadness, and anger. I am heartbroken about the tragedy that killed at least 14 students and one teacher. I just pray that there's changes to be made and that I feel like we won't be more united until I see change or at least until this country can start treating its people the way we're supposed to. And I demand to see that happen. And clearly, I'm not. I love this country. I love being in this country. I love being an American because I have my right to be who I am today, to be an American, and my right to speak to you all on what needs to be addressed, what changes need to be made, what issues need to be fixed. And I feel like these mass shootings are one of the biggest issues that need to be fixed. A lot of things need to be addressed out there. And, and for those that don't have a voice should be heard. And those that do have a voice should also be heard. And I stand with the people who don't have a voice and, and those that do. I do not want to be divided by this. I do not want the whole country to be divided by this. And again, I have been a victim of bullying. I have been a victim of child abuse. I do recall when I was in boarding school back in 2015, 2016 and in Middleborough, Massachusetts, I recall times where I was dragged down the stairs by my feet and was often frequently shouted at on a daily basis. And I kind of still have nightmares about that as of today. And as a matter of fact, I still do. I still have nightmares about that. I have nightmares about being shouted at, being dragged downstairs by my feet without being held accountable. So I have been a victim of child abuse. I have been a victim of bullying. I've been called a princess. I've been called a girl. I've been called a lot of things when I was in boarding school. So again, I have been bullied. I have been abused. Now it's, I take this time to, to let you all know that those are many things in this country that need to be addressed and, and th that there are changes that need to be fixed to make this country a better place, to make this country more united than we are right now. Because I just can't look at myself and say, well, is this what I want? Is this what I want to change? Is this what I want to fix or address in this country? This is something that really needs to stop. 